<laughs> on a scale from one to ten, I feel freaktastic. We don't know what God's plan is. He's not the prodigal son. He's finally home! Welcome, Sunshine Nation! Come and meet my family and spread sunshine and love with us. Here we go! You're assigned to labor in the Fiji Suva mission. <laughs> These past few months have been months of change and travel. You know Tyson just came back from Fiji. Jackson decided to come back to welcome Tyson back, but also he decided to go to North Carolina to sell pest control so that he could do sales all summer. He needs to earn a lot of money in order to get back to college. Tyson is trying to decide if he's gonna wrestle at a college or go to Hawaii. One of his options was SVU. They wanted him to wrestle there. So go and tour the school there. And then we drop off Jackson, but keep watching to the end because a huge surprise comes. Fede Rio here at um, SVU. <laughs> Welcome, brothers and sisters. Thank you to this beautiful family who's here. Coach Casper said her family made us an amazing meal. So everyone went back to the car and you're just still eating more food. Yeah, okay, let's go. It was a delicious meal and so grateful for their family. Beautiful family, huh? I actually really like them. I do too. Virginia is pretty. That's why they say Virginia is for lovers. Are you a lover, Jackson? What do they say about North Carolinans? Because you're going to be in North Carolina. What do they say about them? So I'm headed off to North Carolina, but watch till the very end of the video and you're going to see a very big surprise. Hey, Sunshine Nation. We said goodbye to Jackson. We like filled his fridge, filled all of his cabinets. He was going to spend the whole summer in North Carolina and sell pest control. He would be paying rent there, paying rent in Hawaii, and he's losing a lot of money because he wasn't making any money. He wasn't making any sales. The people over him were making any sales, so he just first saw a summer of losing money. So we said, come back home, get a job here, live here for free, eat for free, and get back on track. So I'm happy to have him back. You see him? <laughs> on a scale from one to 10, I feel freaktastic that he's coming back. I have to feel freaktastic that he's coming back too. I don't even know what that means, but uh, it's pretty cool that Jackson is right here right now. Yeah. Crazy, right? He's back. Yeah. We thought that was our last time that we'd be together as a family, but he's back, and we're so excited. Well, joke's on you. Listen, he said he was upset a little bit. He was like, I prayed and prayed and prayed, and I felt God tell. Wait, why are you leaving? Wait, Jordan. We, we, he's leaving. I don't know where he's going. Wait, what are you Jordan, doing? Jackson's over there. I told Jackson, he said he really prayed about it, and that doesn't mean that. God didn't guide him to go there because I feel like that was a good experience for him. Yeah, well, on many levels, like it put him out of his comfort zone. He would never have come back to Florida if he hadn't first felt like North Carolina was worth it, selling pest control. So it's bringing him back here, and I feel like there's some big things that they can do together, Tyson and Jackson, especially with some work. So yeah, we don't know what that all entails. I mean, maybe it'll even be an internship because he's a senior in college now, so. You know, it's his final year and he needs to get some work and some things on his resume. So, we don't know what God's plan is, but you know, he lost some money and now is not a convenient time to lose money. <laughs> At all. Like, no. I feel like it's never convenient to lose money. So, uh, it's it's never a convenient time, but this is the worst time because we're all struggling financially. But it's okay. We're going to work out because God just keeps blessing us. And guess what? And I'd like to call out one more Terminal person. B. Are we at Terminal B? Dude, there's got to be one. Thing. There's a cool story. No, there are two terminals. Because that's this guy. Wait, what, Jason? There's a cool story in the Bible about the prodigal son. <laughs> He's not the prodigal son. I want to make one thing known. I'm sorry. I thought... One more. I know. That's why we thought it was one terminal. My son said her terminal be. Jackson is not the prodigal son. The prodigal son was rebellious. Jackson's not rebellious. He just needed to make more money. 
Yeah, and he worked hard. It wasn't like he sat in his apartment and didn't try. Oh no, Jackson was trying. He would call us every day and tell us how hard he tried. A lady took him in when he was selling and from Peru and she fed him and then she sent him out with like boxes of macaroni and cheese and she said my husband used to do this when he first came to America because they're from Peru. So she felt it had a heart for him. But then solar people came to our house and I was like, I'm gonna do the same thing for him. She felt inspired guys and then you know they just pay it forward man. We paid it forward, we fed the solar guys and it was such a great experience. They were so excited. So, you know what? We can be nice to everybody. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Is this Terminal B? Wait, wait, wait. There he is. We have to park right now and go tag him. Go get him. Just jump out and go get him. All right, so the surprise is that I ended up having to come home. Now, I went out to North Carolina, did some summer sales, but I didn't make one sale. And my bank account was getting low, I was kind of broke. So I decided to come back out here to Florida, decided to get a job where I can at least have something reliable and just start making income right away. Now I understand that these jobs, these sales jobs are really good for you. They teach you a lot. You learn a lot and there's an opportunity to make a lot of money, but this is not the right situation and the right time for me to go out and do sales. I just need to uh, be more stable before I go out, have a more stable uh, bank account is what I mean. Who knows, man, God always has a plan. God always wants you to uh, be somewhere in life and sometimes his path is like a roller coaster. It takes you places that you, know, you don't wanna go, but I feel like there's a reason why I'm here. And so I'm glad, glad to be back, glad to be with the family, glad to be, uh, be able to see, say goodbye to Jordan before he goes off to Hong Kong. So I love you guys, keep spreading sunshine. Mm -hmm.